He's kept it secret for a long time, but now, after revelations in the French press, he's spoken out. French journalist Nicolas Hénin, who was held captive in Syria for 10 months, says one of his jailers was Frenchman Mehdi Namouche. Namouche is accused of shooting dead four people at the Jewish Museum in Brussels in May, an attack captured on security cameras. After the arrest of Mehdi Namouche for the acts he's accused of in Brussels, I was shown a number of audio-visual documents that allowed me to formally identify him. Then we, the former hostages and the police and legal authorities, decided to keep this secret. One reason for this, according to Enal, was that when he and three other journalists were freed in April, they'd left a number of hostages behind and wanted to protect them. Enan says Namouche was one of a small number of French fighters affiliated with a forerunner of the Islamic State group who was supervising dozens of prisoners in Aleppo. He says Namouche was particularly feared. Oui, Mehdi Namouche m'a maltraité, moi-même. Mehdi Namouche mistreated me. I don't know if he mistreated other Western hostages, but I did hear him torturing Syrian prisoners in this place we were in, which was the basement of a hospital. Namouche was arrested in France days after the Brussels shooting and extradited to Belgium. The lawyer who represented him during extradition proceedings says he's surprised by the latest allegations, saying the question of Namouche travelling to Syria was never raised. There was never any question of the role he allegedly played as a jailer, which I'm reading about in the press. It surprises me a bit, because if this turns out to be the case, and with people's lives at stake, why didn't someone ask him the question? Mehdi Namouche is facing trial over the Brussels killings. A Belgian judge is due to rule on his continued detention at a hearing next Friday. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, 